Hey, what's up, guys? And today we're doing Cristiano Ronaldo versus Lionel Messi in the MLS for two seasons. We're going to see how these two can do in the MLS for the respective teams. So Messi's on Miami, and I have put... Give me a second here. I have put Cristiano Ronaldo on the best team in the West, and Messi's on the best team in the Eastern Conference. And we're going to see how these two do in their respective conferences. So Ronaldo up front, captain for Los Angeles FC, and Messi up front, captain for Inter Miami. So I think I'm going to start off by simming halfway into the season, and we'll see how we we'll see how we are doing there. Okay, so this is about halfway through the season. After this game, we'll be halfway through the season. But I am going to stop at every... Like, obviously, I picked Philadelphia Union to stand in just so I could sim and see how Ronaldo and Messi do. But I'm going to sim to every game that we play against them and slow sim to see how they do against us. So let's see how Messi does. We should, we should, he should be in the lineup. So I did put him on the team sheet. Okay, yeah, so he has been in the lineup. Three three, Lionel Messi hat trick against us. So Messi's got a hat trick against us. Jeez, okay. So Messi's dominating us clearly. We're not gonna look at the stats yet. Or you know, actually maybe we should we should look at the stats, especially this team standings. So in the standings, Inter Miami are in first place in the East. And LAFC are only third in the West. I thought they'd be way higher than that. They are only in third place in the Western Conference. Let's look at the different competitions. We have the U.S. Open Cup. Miami beat FC Dallas in round two. LAFC lost to Chicago. LAFC out early. Miami beat the Red Bulls. Miami lost to Portland in the quarterfinals. Jeez. Okay, so I think... Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll check the stats now. So we'll look at their stats halfway through the season. And Messi, the top of the goal category. 14 goals in 19 matches. Suarez has 10. Cristiano Ronaldo... It's five goals in 17 matches for LAFC. The top is sisters. Cristiano Ronaldo has three. Messi has four assists for Inter Miami. Mind you, Inter Miami are a lot better on paper. U.S. Open Cup, Messi had one assist in three matches. Three goals in three matches. And Ronaldo had no goals because they lost one nil. If I do, if I do remember myself correctly here, they lost one nil to Chicago in the very first round of the U.S. Open Cup. Was it one nil? It was one nil. So Ronaldo did not score in that competition. So far, Messi is winning this competition. But let's sim to the end of the first season. All right, guys. So I think we only play games against the teams in our conference. Obviously, I'm Philadelphia, so I'll try for the second season to switch to a West team. But for obviously, for now, we're just going to have to slow sim the Messi games. We won't be able to see Ronaldo, but against Messi again, we beat them 1-0. Messi had a match rating of 5.8. So, who knows? Maybe Messi's slowing down and Cristiano Ronaldo might be catching up a little bit. But now let's sim to the end of the season. Here we are at the end of the season, and we finished fourth, and Inter Miami finished second, set on a title, 77 points with Orlando City. 23 wins, 8 draws, 3 losses, 73 goals for, beat every other team in the East. Your Western Conference, Seattle, or not Seattle, well, Seattle did choke, they had it early, a very, very big 
early lead. The LAFC came back to steal the top of the West from Seattle to get that first round by. 19, 10, and 5. 63 goals for, so 10 less than Miami. And uh, a worse goal difference by 6. And they had 10 less points than Miami. And in the first round, Miami's facing at Atlanta. And obviously, LA have a first round bye. So I think we'll see them to the end of the playoffs before we get to um, looking at the rest of the stats for the season. Okay, we're in this game. Okay, we lost to Orlando, so we're out. Okay, we'll, we'll see what happened here. Miami beat Atlanta 3-0. 3-0. LA beat Portland 2-1 in the conference semifinals. So they're in the final four. Into Miami have yet to face Toronto. And they beat Toronto 3-1. Miami and LAFC are one win away from seeing each other in the finals. Okay, we should be able to still the pick. Or well, hopefully we can get a Western Conference team now. Or Columbus West? I think they might be West. Yeah, they should be. So we'll take that. A warm welcome to you all. Oh, no, they're east. So we still haven't had the games happen yet. Okay. Twentieth, have the games happened? Still not yet. Well, I assume they'll take place on like a Saturday. We'll go all the way to here first. It's okay, son of a bitch, Jesus. And LA Galaxy defeat LAFC 2-0. And Inter Miami are in the finals against LA Galaxy. Wow. LA Galaxy in the finals versus Miami. And I assume Miami are our MLS Cup. No, they are. LA Galaxy are the MLS Cup champions. For our very first season, two to one over Inter Miami. Okay, let's go see. Let's go see these stats. Messi second in goals. Twenty three goals in thirty eight matches. Cristiano Ronaldo with the comeback, but still just not enough. Did play two less games than Messi. But just not enough. 17 goals in 36 matches. 8 assists for Cristiano Ronaldo in 2 less games. And 9 assists in 2 more games for Lionel Messi. Both did not top the assists. And US Open Cup, we've already seen that. Wow. So Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi. Both trophyless. But I would say Messi just edges out that first season. By a little bit. Okay, so I think Messi edges out that first season by a little bit. But now, let's sim straight to the second season. Okay, we're at the beginning of the second season. I assume Ronaldo and Messi are still on their teams. And they have. So, yes, Ronaldo is retiring at the end of the season. That's why I'm only doing two seasons because I knew that that would happen. And Messi is still into Miami for another season. So we have one more season to see how this pans out. And okay, yeah, so I'm in I'm in the east still, so I still can't see LA games. Maybe I can find a different job in MLS. Nope. Okay, I have an idea though. 
I'm going to sim halfway through the season, which is around the time we play Miami. And we'll see how both of them are doing. Okay, so I just applied for the LA Galaxy job. So I think I should be able to get it if I just sim this last week here. I like Galaxy Manager position. Where'd it go? Okay, I applied for it again. Okay, so I have the LA Galaxy manager offer so i should be able to at a least send a couple of those ronaldo matches Let's see how they're doing okay so we're, we're only 12 games in so i'm gonna sim another five to see how we're doing let's see did i miss any la games i did they got smashed 5-1 by lafc in their one of the, their first meeting of the season and they have another meeting here on the 24th against LAFC. So let's see how Cristiano Ronaldo does in an MLS match. 3-2 Ronaldo with one goal. 8.5 rating on the match. Cristiano Ronaldo. All right, let's sim two more games, and then we'll look at the stats for both of the guys. Okay, we are halfway through this MLS season. I've already seen it, but at the very top, LAFC. 15 wins, 3 draws, 0 losses, 35 goals for 10 against. Well, in the East, Messi... Doing great as well. 11 forward to 27 goals for 14 against 37 points. Well, LA have 48 points. Tables are flipped from last season. They are flipped. Miami do have a game in hand, though. Miami do have a game in hand. So they could make it closer to see who finishes above the other. And look who's at the top this time. Cristiano Ronaldo. 11 goals. In 18 matches. And Lionel Messi. Not on the list. Oh. Messi has three assists. In 17 matches. For Inter Miami. And less than. How many goals was that? Less than six goals and three assists for Miami. So not a great season for Messi overall, really, at all. Check the U.S. Open Cup. LAFC are still in it. Inter Miami got knocked out in the round of 16. They beat Orlando, and then they lost to New York City in the round of 16. LAFC beat St. Louis. They beat Colorado Rapids. Did they play this round? Yes, they did. They beat Seattle 1-0. And then in the semifinals, that's Portland Tim Timbers. Okay, okay. This is interesting. Oh, 
Uh, let's go see Messi's com to complete totals for the season: five goals and three assists in seven or in seventeen matches. What's this? Average what? Is this is average minutes. Or I think it's average rating. That would make the most sense. So Messi not doing it for Miami this season. But on the other hand, Cristiano Ronaldo, 11 goals, 1 assist. Phenomenal from the best player in history in the MLS. So Ronaldo's on fire. And Messi has some catching up to do. Just like last season, could Messi catch up like Cristiano Ronaldo did? We'll see. Some up to the end of the season now. Even though we are in the West, we do have a game against Miami, which I don't understand. I don't really follow, even being Canadian, the MLS too much. I don't follow too much. I don't know exactly how it works. But let's see how Messi does against us near the end of the season. Subbed off in the 87th minute. No goals for Messi. I don't know if he got an assist or not. Match rating was 6.4. Not a great outing for Messi. Again, I don't think he's going to be catching up to Ronaldo anytime soon. Not this season. Not this season. End of the season in Miami. Again, do not get top of the East. Second only to Orlando City. 19 wins, 11 draws, 4 losses, 58 goals for, 32 against, 26 goal difference, 68 points. Well, LAFC top the West with one loss. 26 wins, 7 draws, 1 loss, 64 goals for, 20 against, 85 points. Miami have New England in the very first round of the playoffs. Alright, let's sim the playoffs first. All right, let's go do this round by round. So first round, we beat FC Dallas. Miami loses 2-0 in the first round to New England. And Cristiano Ronaldo has us next for LAFC. Ronaldo versus LA Galaxy. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Winning goal in the 101st minute extra time. A brace in the match. 9.8 rating. Cristiano Ronaldo is on fire for Los Angeles FC in the MLS. All right, so I'm, I'm on Houston now. It's like I fired again. I'm not managing these teams. But LFC beat us 2-1, to one, and now they have the Sounders in the conference semifinals. And Orlando have New England, who beat Miami 2-0 in the first round in the semifinals. LAFC beat the Sounders 2-0. And the team that beat Miami, New England Revolution, up against LAFC for the MLS Cup. The MLS Cup, November the 29th, will sim all the way to the 30th. The MLS comes up for grabs. And can LAFC do it? Can they pull through? They have! Ronaldo is the only one to win the MLS Cup 3-1. to one. MLS Cup champions for Cristiano Ronaldo and Los Angeles Football Club. Sucks we won't be able to see who scored in the match, but they, they won. Ronaldo's MLS Cup champion. 23 goals. In 37 matches, close to what Messi had last season, or pretty much the same, just Messi played 38 games. So Ronaldo, a better season, debatably, than Messi last year. 23 goals, Ronaldo, Messi had 6 assists in 35 games. Ronaldo is not on the assist. And Messi is not on the goals either. Wow, that's crazy. Alright, let's see how they did. 
So Ronaldo, 23 goals, 4 assists in 37 matches. And Lionel Messi, 9 goals, 6 assists in only 35 matches. So Ronaldo wins this one by a landslide. A landslide. What a comeback from last season. After not being able to win it all last season, not being able to do better than Messi, he does better than Messi and, and wins MLS Cup. It's remarkable stuff from Cristiano Ronaldo, the best of all time. In the U.S. Open Cup, L.A. win that as well. So Ronaldo with the double after beating Colorado, St. Louis, Miami, Los Angeles, New York, as we remember. Beating Portland and then winning 1-0 in the finals. Unbelievable from Ronaldo. Absolutely remarkable from Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's see how he did in the U.S. Open Cup. Miami, Messi two games, no goals, no assists. And Ronaldo, four games, two goals. Who wants to bet that one goal was the one goal in the finals? It very could be that it was. It's very likely that it could have been. But I'm going to go calculate out the stats right now. And we'll see who won this challenge. Okay, so I've it took me a little while, but I've calculated all of it. In 78 matches, Messi had zero golden boots, zero trophies, zero top assists, one finals, 35 goals, 15 assists over all competitions. In 79 games, Ronaldo had 42 goals, 12 assists, two finals, two wins, one golden boot. So, I'm sure you can see who definitely won this challenge. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Peace.